And now from TreasureIslandOldies.com, here's the rock and roll news for the week of June the 2nd. The icon of television in the 1970s, Gene Stapleton, the character actress who portrayed a slow-witted, big-hearted, yet submissive, up-to-a-point housewife on the groundbreaking series All in the Family, uh, she passed away. Gene Stapleton died on last Friday in New York City at 90 years old. In other rock and roll news for you this week, Dion reunited with the Belmonts for an oldies revival show in New York City in 1972. Production began on the movie Fairy Cross the Mersey with Jerry and the Pacemakers and Scylla Black this week in 1964. It was the 3rd of June, another sleepy, dusty Delta day as Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. According to the song by Bobby Gentry, the ode to Billy Joe, number one this week, in 1967. And uh, also, a few years later, in 1974, the Bobby Gentry Happiness Hour made its debut on television. Elvis Presley got an A in language, but only a C in music in his eighth grade at Humes High School this week in 1949 in Memphis, Tennessee. Buddy Holly and Elvis appeared together at an autograph session at a Lubbock tar- a car dealership in 1955. Jimmy Nickel substituted for 10 days on the Beatles' Australian tour as Ringo Starr was hospitalized with tonsillitis in 1964. Ray Davies from the Kinks flew to England from America to re-record the words Cherry Cola in the song Lola after the BBC refused to air it with the original words Coca-Cola. Janis Joplin joined Big Brother and the Holding Company this week in 1966. Gene Vincent performed his first concert in his hometown of Norfolk, Virginia, this week in 1956. Roy Hamilton was hospitalized with tuberculosis and he retired this week in 1956. However, he returned to performing a year later. The Beatles signed a contract with EMI Parlophone in Britain this week in 1962 after they had passed an audition for producer George Martin in London. Tony Williams left the platters this week in 1960 Gladys Knight appeared on the last Ed Sullivan show in 1971. Graceland, uh, Elvis's mansion, was open to the public this week in 1982. Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas made their American television debut on the Ed Sullivan show this week in 1964. Brian Jones quit the Rolling Stones in 1969, but back in 1963, they were all together and made their British TV debut on Thank Your Lucky Stars. The musical Grease opened on Broadway this week in 1972. High School Confidential, the movie that starred Jerry Lee Lewis, opened this week in 1958. In 1975, Elton John's album Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy became the very first album to debut at number one on the Billboard charts. Elvis's movie Wild in the Country premiered in Memphis this week in 1971. In 2008, Smokey Robinson was inducted into the Apollo Theater Hall of Fame in Harlem, New York. In the studio, Gary Lewis recorded Save Your Heart for Me in 1965. Carlos Santana began recording Black Magic Woman in 1970. Billy Swan cut I Can Help in 74. Twenty years earlier, Bill Haley and the Comets were in the studio recording Shake, Rattle and Roll. Don McLean recorded Vincent in 1971. Skeeter Davis cut The End of the World in 62. The Clovers recorded Love Potion No. 9 in 1959. And Bill Justice recorded Raunchy in 1957. Birthdays, Jimmy Jones is 75. Sammy Turner is 80. Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones is 71. Marvin Hamlish born this week in 1944. Otis Williams from the Charms is 76. Curtis Mayfield born this week in 1942. Dan Hill turns 58. Eddie Holman is 66 this week. Denise Williams is 61. Susie Quattro turns 62. Boots Randolph was born this week in 1927. Michelle Phillips from the Mamas and Papas is 67. Gordon Waller from Peter and Gordon, born this week in 1945. Freddie Fender was born in 1937. Ronnie Dyson, who sang If You Love Me, uh, If You Let Me Make Love to You, Then Why Can't I Touch You? He was born this week in 1950. Bill Hayes is our senior citizen this week at 87. Gary U.S. Bonds is 73. Levi Stubbs from the Four Tops, born this week in 1936. 
Dean Martin was born in 1917. James Darren is 76. Nancy Sinatra, 72. Boz Skaggs turned 68. Bonnie Tyler, 59. And Chuck Negron from Three Dog Night is 70 this week. And from TreasureIslandOldies.com, that's your rock and roll news for the week of June the 2nd. Stay tuned for all the late-breaking news by coming to the Treasure Island Oldies blog. You can get to it at TreasureIslandOldies.com. And then click blog. Thanks for listening. I'm Michael Godin. Treasure Island Oldies.